Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Pixel and Frisket Finds. My name is Michelle, and this is a new episode of Come to Work With Me, a series on my channel where we go through the vintage inventory that I have here at the, the jewelry store where I work. And at the end, we pick out the priority listing items, so when I do get time to go to eBay and list some stuff, I can go straight to the good stuff. If you haven't already, click subscribe down at the bottom. I'd love to hang out with you again. If you click the little circle icon with the two robots in love, it'll take you right to my channel, where you will find all of my videos, including the rest of this series. And uh, down in the description box below, I'll put links to uh, emails and eBay stores and any questions, just contact me. I'd love to hear from you. Um, Running out of boxes here, we've got a couple to see here. Both are, are watches, however, so we are venturing into watch territory. Um, I think at the beginning of all of our videos at this point now. So let's start here with this one. I've got a Tissot, not Tisset, <laughs> Tissot that we can look at here. But let's start with this box. Ha, huh, that's a logo, isn't it? I see. I have had, uh, I've got on consignment actually for another customer, a watch just like this, but it's not the, um, the solid band. It's a, a linked band, but this is the Gucci ladies, Gucci watch with interchangeable bezels. It comes with all of these, um, colorful bezels that you can change out on the watch. Um, you can see here we've got some darker colors and some more pastels over here. I've found that these sit in boxes for so long that they often become discolored. Like um, the other one I, I have seen, half of the purple has turned quite a beige color because of sun bleaching, but um, that's not the case here. And the other one I don't have the booklet for either, so that's exciting to see that here. Look at that, hey? There's a card in here. Look at that, a Gucci card. That's pretty fun. Like, it's fun to see. And uh, people people who care about this will will certainly care that they've got all of the, um, the paperwork, including this card, the Certificate of Origin, Authentic Gucci. Right, so that comes in there with it. Watch goes here, and the extra bezel goes here, and that goes in there. Pretty cool. I think that's awesome. That's a great find. I'm going to move it over here so I can leave some space here for words and such as. That should work there. Now, the Tissot watch. The last one we opened um, was sort of a feminine watch in the end. I thought that it would be like a sporty watch based on some of the things we were seeing. And if we dump this one out here, again, we have their story and catalog book comes with it. Put it back in down here. I like how it looks like it's multi books, but it isn't. Let's flip it around and see what we have here. Tissot switch. Swiss watches since 1853. We've got extra light shining down on us here. Uh, this video, I wonder if we'll notice. <laughs> Innovators by tradition. Oh, cool. So that pops open. Let me move this in a little better. This little side pops open. And that's where we have our book and Certificate of Authenticity and Warranty, tiny little book about for the user's manual. And it's uh, velvety inside here. <laughs> and here's the watch. It is a masculine watch. We had a price tag on it of $450. So I'll definitely be looking at whether that's still a comparable price or whether that should be changed based on the model. The condition is very nice. We've still got plastic, like a, you know, peel off plastic over the, the band. So 
I bet you that's in like new condition. Getting a look at the, the crystal there. I'm not noticing any scratches or anything, so that's great. Hopefully we've got some information to put up on the screen about that watch. It's too big to keep in this uh, in this scene here, so I'm going to go ahead and maybe... I know what I can do. What if I go... No, no, silly, silly. We'll just leave the watch in there. I'll put the Gucci one back down here, and this one can go over here on its pillow. There we go. That's a start, isn't it? Okay, now let's back it up a little bit here. All right, and get some of our crumbs. Just a couple, a couple of crumbs. Okie dokie, let's see here. I have a literal bag of watches beside me, so let me just reach in and grab another random one. Because that's the only way we're going to get through them, is if I just start tackling them. So this is just a fashion watch. Just, just a pretty fashion watch. It's white and silver and rhinestone. It's clampy. And I don't recognize the name at all. But, um, yeah, fashion watch. You can go there. All right, let's see what else we can pull out here. That is not a watch. I'm going to have to dump this bag beside me, I think. Oh, yes, there we go. Okay, first thing I see is a pair of earrings. A gold pair of hoops just a kind of a nice texture on them I don't suspect anything of quality I can see it's kind of looking yucky but the thing that just stood out to me is the fact that the post was not silver tone but you can see it is underneath but that's a nice simple pair of hoops and next up beside me is these clip-on earrings. Now, I have had on display here in the store for a while now a bracelet that goes with these earrings. So now I'm just finding the, the set here. I thought they looked like, not like acorns, but like pine cones, kind of. And the bracelet is unmarked. I wasn't sure who made it, but I could tell it wasn't a total piece of junk. But then I see on the earrings, they are marked as Avon. So now I know that the um, the bracelet on display here is an Avon bracelet. And now I can price it again as a set. Here's a piece that's broken, but really pretty. Um, it's got, well, it's missing one or two or three there. But uh, that big, you know, faux peridot is really pretty. But you can see whatever it was is broken. So it's a crafty piece now. And I see a pair of cufflinks. These are kind of cool. They're kind of, I don't know, atomic. Would, would we say that these are mid-century modern looking? I wonder if they'll clean up because that doesn't look very good there. I don't think so. I think they're just gonna look that way feels like that's plastic in the center there that long oval cabochon i can see the glue oh or is it lines is it like an agate oh i think it is oh my goodness i did not notice that at all there's lines on them i thought they were straight black wow my eyes are being played with and they say shields. I don't know. Those are kind of cool. I definitely will look into listing those. Here's another pair of clip-ons off to the side here. And that's got a couple of coins. Now we can see the finish chipping away there, I guess. And even on the chains, they look worn. But look at that. They are indeed pennies <laughs> gold plated i suppose but canadian pennies 
1943, one is 1939. They've had these chains put around them. And they are gold-plated, I suppose. Maybe we should get a little closer and have a better look at this right here where it's coming apart. I mean, obviously they're not they're not solid gold because they pennies. But um, either way, kind of cool. Pennies are no longer in circulation here in Canada, so I guess those hold new significance. And here's a pin. And it's a hat. I don't know if there used to be stones there, but they are uh, consistently missing <laughs> if there ever were. Next up. Oh, it's a bit of a cluster of stuff over here. Here's a set. Here's a pair of earrings. Clip on. Oh, oh something's falling out. Doot, doot. Clip-on earrings, these uh, floral bouquet. Oh, that back is stuck in there. Do you see that? Get out of there. Uh, no marks on the back at all. They're just this like open work enamel and rhinestone and faux pearl floral cluster. Kind of pretty. And there is a necklace in here. Looks like a choker. Let's back it up a bit. There it is. It looks a bit like a harp shape or horseshoe shape even. It's pretty heavy overall. But it is quite very short. Definitely a choker length. Let's find... Where's the clasp here? It's funny because they all look like the clasp. What the heck? Where is it? Aha! There it is. <laughs> Found it. No marks that I can see of any kind. No. Well, that's kind of cool. It's Like I said, it's really quite heavy. It makes me feel like it must be by somebody. But uh, who knows? Maybe not. Okay, next up is this little pair that we are all forever. Is it ivory? Is it bone? Is it plastic? I don't know. I don't know. I think I'll probably end up at some point just putting all those things together and getting rid of it all at once somehow. Oh, this is kind of weird. Let me just collect these things up beside me here. <clears throat> I wonder why why this is happening here, but look at that. A whole bunch of little watch faces from small vintage and antique ladies' watches. Look at that. Why are they all out of their little homes? Oh my goodness. Here, let's... Uh, Let's do this. Hang on. Okay, so here's the first one. Bulova. I mean, was somebody just trying to get the jewels, you know? Trying to get out the jewels? I don't think so. Ever right. Let me twist it up. Not ticking. It does wind though. What about this one? Whitnauer. Hmm. That one seems to be seized. Or maybe it's overwound at this point. They're cute. I don't know why. Why am I so drawn to those? They are adorable. They need more room. What's this one? Another Wittenauer. Oh, that's a more modern one that takes a battery. Same with this one here. And that's a Gruen. Yeah, cool. 
I don't know why they're all out, but there they are. <laughs> so cute. I don't know. Lady, like uh, Vintage ladies' watches are really appealing to me. I can't wear watches. I They drive me nuts. I don't wear bracelets either, but the... Um, the antique and vintage watches are really appealing to me. Here is an earring that's broken. We're missing, well, just the lobster or the shepherd's hook on this side. But that's all it needs and they would be fine. Like a native design, an eagle, I would say, thunderbird, and a couple of dangly feathers. They're pretty. The findings, you can see the jump rings are are copper. So I'm not going to guess that these are 925 silver, but probably silver plated. Okay. Ooh, I see Monet. I know Monet is not super valuable or anything, but I just, it's one of the ones I like to recognize, I suppose. But it's all alone. Just this one one little earring it's probably got a matcher somewhere somewhere in all these bags but who knows um but yeah the monet i could spot that that back a mile away and i can actually wear this kind because it's not like a spring-loaded clamp you can adjust how tightly it's squeezing so i think that's brilliant i'll put you there and hopefully hopefully we find the match in the bags to come in the meantime, here is a matching set. That's a, I think we found that maybe the matching um, brooch for that or um, bracelet. Actually, Boucher, I know I've got the bracelet for this on display as well as the bracelet for this. Holy Hannah, let me go and get that now. Yeah, here we go. Look, <laughs> here's the bracelet for this for these ones. And I had that tagged on display for forty five dollars. And just so I know I'm not crazy, I'm gonna double check for that Avon mark. Oh man, I think it's there. <laughs> oh, that's disappointing in me. I was new, you guys. This is V6 means it's the sixth item that I pulled in order to uh, list it for sale. Let me zoom in. Huh. There's like letters or, or someone's written on there. Definitely doesn't say Avon, though. Phew. Anyway, there's that. That's so cool. Now we have the set. And then here's the other bracelet that goes with this, with these. And those ones are marked Boucher or Boucher, however you want to say it. But uh, yeah, the bracelet is marked and so is the earrings. Very cool. Well, I'm going to put them all together over here then. Get these guys out of the way. You can go up here. One, where'd the other one go? There. Fun. Fun to find a set. Lovely. Well, there we go. I guess you guys get to hang out now in in the rest of the video. Okay, what do we have next here? It's a bit of a hodgepodge beside me. Here's another pair of earrings, another hoop pair. And it's got a design on it, sort of a leaf or a feather design. The post is not gold. And I don't see any marks. Um, I've got a couple of these here, a couple of coins. Let me just zoom in here. They're not sure where from and they have uh, styrofoam on the back or a piece of leather it is actually because it's a button right 
I don't know anything about that though. I wonder if I'll find anything out while I'm editing. I never know if I'm going to or not. I hope to find something out about everything I look at, but you may notice when you're watching my videos that I I don't always have something to add and if and it's not because I didn't look, but if I don't find anything interesting enough to throw on the screen then I I tend to move on. It takes a long time to go through the editing when I'm researching along the way. As much as I love that part of it. Another little gold tone hoops there. I like, actually really like the look of those ones. Um, I have a pair here. And I know we recently got the brooch for this as well. So now we have a set. I don't remember if it had a name on the brooch. I don't think so. I remember talking about it being like uh, delicate and scalloped and... I don't know, light, lightweight or something. I don't remember. I don't remember, but I do know we have the other piece for that. Um, oh my goodness, there's so many weird little things beside me here. These are cute. Little chubby rhinestone-y um, hoops. I see a bit of vertigray there. I thought for a second maybe there was multicolors going on here, but I think they just need to be cleaned. And those are marked inside. Nolan Miller. Nolan Miller. Hmm. Are they different colors? Like, am I seeing pink and purple and green and blue? Like, oof. Hard to say. Let's see what we can find out about Nolan Miller. Maybe, maybe the answer will present itself in the research. Okay. What else is here? I've got a little jade bear just a little guy a little jade bear pendant you can stand here with the gucci uh, i've got a couple of stick pins here one is miss oh i thought it was actually just flat like whatever was there had fallen off but it is the tiniest little gold tone heart stick pin how cute <laughs> I don't know why I'm enamored by that, but I am. It's really adorable. And then here's a little cameo one. She's facing left. Left facing is more rare than right, but not as rare as front facing. Now, whether that's actually shell or quality cameo, like the detail is poor. It's not well done in that regard. But either way, there's that. Here's another pair of gold tone hoops. These ones have a twist and an embossing. Hmm, those are cute as well. Also, the posts on them are uh, not gold tone, so I, I don't have uh, any desire to take a second look. But here we have the matching earrings for that... Um, necklace that we pulled out earlier they swing here they're also heavy so they're the, they're the same um made of the same stuff and what have you okay there's them now oopsie let's zoom out a sec here i have these four hoops with no matcher that one uh silver tube style this one is a tube style but um hollow and squared oh what the what gold electroplated jny that doesn't go with this earring but there's this earring i think it's really pretty and then there's this sleeper and it's losing its color as well so if it was gold it was plated that little pile there here is a chain an interesting link of a chain and it's got a piece of jasper on there it looks like picture jasper and it has broken and been glued back together which is a shame 
I like the the bale that they're that they've added on there, the leaf shape, and then this is what the chain looks like. It's really pretty cool. It kind of reminds me more of a pocket watch chain, but here it is. And the length of it is quite short. Um, I would have to say that's not its original um, chain, that's for sure. And in fact, sitting beside me is this, which <laughs> leads me to believe even more that it is not meant to be together. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Here's another single. I shouldn't show you the singles. What am I doing? I should just be putting them to the side for the earring extravaganza one day. Here's a bracelet, but it's a bit bigger. Maybe it should be an anklet, I think. It's um, a curb link, like a long curb link, but there's also this texture into the side of the links. I think that's pretty cool. There's the lobster claw. Or lobster clasp, I mean. And I don't see anything else about it to make me feel like I need to investigate it further. But I do have a magnet sitting here. Oh yeah. She's magnetic. Anyway, good enough. Good enough for in a lot, that's for sure. Okay, now I'm going to get smart and put my single earrings to the side. Because I do have a little box over here. But here's a pair. We can look at the pair. It's kind of cute, kind of dangly. It's got like a plastic chonk. <laughs> what is that supposed to be? A rose? I suppose a rose with these two little green faceted beads. It looks kind of like a brain. It looks kind of like, I don't know, a couple of boogers. Like, let's just be honest, right? Somebody hung crusty boogers. <laughs> okay, here's um, a bale with a chunk of probably pyrite, I guess, in there, but it doesn't look like it was meant to be that way from the beginning. Here's another little pendant, a damascene. Well, I don't know, is that damascene? I guess it's not. It looks a little different. It's got like a Roman thing happening, but it's done like damascene. And it's got this big bubble of plastic or resin. And it's like a Roman soldier, I suppose. Huh. No other clues here, though. Dang. I don't know. I don't know what else to do with that now. I have a 700 Club pin. <laughs> There's this little shield, enamel shield that says Las Vegas, Nevada. Used to be on something. Um, I have a single cloth covered or suede covered cufflink. What does that say? Nothing. Hmm. I only have the one though, so who knows? Here's another little pin. This one says 100 Huntley Street, whatever that means. Oh, geez, look at this Dumbo. Look how cute. Little silver Dumbo charm or pendant. Let's give him a little, a little rub here and see. He would be a good one to clean up a little bit, hey? I'll do the back of his ear here. Huh. Well, he's not cleaning up very nicely. Makes me wonder if he's sterling or not. But of course he is, though, right? He must be. Oh, Dumbo. Here you go, buddy. We know you can fly. Here. See? You got to go up here. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, oops. Single earring. And here's another piece from a watch chain. That one's got some info in it, though. So 120th 12 karat gold fill on that. A All right. 
Here's another little pin. This is, oh, I feel like I should know what that symbol is for. Does it say? I have no idea. RD65 cent com. I don't know. It feels like I should recognize that though. The, these are cool. Oh, neat. Look at these earrings. Those are neat. Hey, they look like, well, kind of like puzzle pieces. I like those. Are they marked as sterling? Let me try, let me try cleaning this one a bit. Hmm. Well, they didn't clean up very well. But they look like they should be sterling. I don't see any any marks on them, but those are cool, I think. <laughs> sterling or not, I think they're neat. Okay. What else is beside me? We're almost done for today. We'll finish up with these little crumbs beside me. And we've got a little guardian angel pin, a little pewter, pewter one. And we've got a random piece of hematite, I believe. Hematite, is it? I think so. Hard to tell right now. It doesn't have the same shine I was expecting to see. And then we've got this little pair of earrings. These are kind of cute. Let me zoom in. Oops, come on. Boop. They're just uh, little silver hearts, and they have a dangly hoop with a clear bead on it. Kind of cool. Um, another little pin. This is just a tiny little gold tone cross. There's this little domed, black domed cabochon earrings. Maybe they're glass or, or onyx, I suppose. Um, what else? What else? Oh, are these meant to be together? It looks like these are meant to be together, but we're missing the dangly part of one. Also string, like what's up with that? Don't know. Um, tiny little studs and stuff here. Here's a little group of charms, a cross and an anchor and a heart. All, all of them are losing their color. Here's one tiny little pendant on a bale, a little mother of pearl heart on a tiny little bale. Okay, that's going to be everything for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, let's see what's priority here. Well, now that we have these sets together, this pine cone is a priority with its earrings and the Boucher, Boucher Avon and Boucher sets. Um, this this uh, harp shaped necklace and its earrings i think maybe you know we got three sets let's just do it i'm excited to look more into the canadian pennies of course of course the gucci watch set as long as everything is working and i'll test that out um i should be able to list that whole thing for about 300 dollars um, based on the other ones that i've dealt with and yeah those are the goodies the best the best of the best i guess i'm excited to look into these because i just think those are a really cool design in general but yeah that's going to be everything if you haven't already click subscribe down at the bottom and um then we can hang out and we can do this again if you have any questions let me know and uh other than that i'll talk to you again soon